In the House of Representatives, there are 84 women, 22 of whom are Republicans. There are 435 total rep representatives, and 247 of those are Republicans. Eight are from Maryland, 13 are from North Carolina, 12 are from Jersey, and 11 are from Virginia. Okay, that's a lot of information. Uh, so we have two problems here. In both cases, we're looking for probabilities. So in part A, find the probability that a randomly chosen representative is from North Carolina or Virginia. And in part B, if one representative is randomly chosen for a TV interview, what's the probability that the representative is either a woman or a Republican. So the first keyword that jumps out at me is this one, the word or. North Carolina or Virginia, and in part B, a woman or a Republican. So we have a we have a rule for or with the or rule for probability. So when we have the word or, so the probability of A or B happening, meaning either A could happen or B could happen or A and B could both happen. The rule is this is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. We call it the addition rule, but in some cases, there's some overlap there. So we don't want to double count things that are part of group A and also part of group B. So we have to subtract off the probability of both A and B. Okay. And now, we, in the last video, we talked about the idea of two events being mutually exclusive or disjoint. So mutually exclusive means they cannot happen at the same time. And so if they cannot happen at the same time, then the probability of both A and B happening is zero. So this becomes simply probability of A plus the probability of B. And that's if a and b are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive okay so that third term is zero if they're mutually exclusive a and b cannot happen at the same time so the probability is zero all right so let's look at part a the probability that a randomly chosen representative is from North Carolina. Okay, so in the problem, we're given that 13 are from North Carolina or Virginia. And we're given 11 are from Virginia. All right, so our probability, our formula for probability, we need to know how many are in our event and how many are in the total sample space. So the total sample space is the total number of possible people, 435 total representatives. So in part A, let's say event A is from North Carolina and I used orange for Virginia, so event B is from Virginia. And so the probability of A, or the probability of being from North Carolina is, well, there's 13 people from North Carolina out of the 435 total people. And the probability of being from Virginia, well, there's 11. So the probability of B is 11 out of the 435. So the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of being from North Carolina plus the probability of being from Virginia and these two events are mutually exclusive so there's no overlap there's nothing to subtract off 
you can't be from North Carolina and from Virginia. It's one of your, your representative from one, from one state, not two. Okay, so finally, we're at 24 divided by 435. Okay, so there's our probability. And if we put this into the calculator, if you wanted to put this into, let's say Desmos, maybe that's about equal to 0 0.055. So either one, whether we want a fraction or we want a decimal. All right, so same, same uh, similar problem, part B. Uh, what's the problem that the representative is a woman? And so we're given in the problem, there are 84 women or a Republican. And we're given that 247 of those are Republican. All right, so I'll just use some shorthand here. So that's event A and that's event B. So the probability of A is, well, how many women are there? That's given as 84. 84 out of the total 435. The probability of B, well, how many Republicans are there? That's given as 247. So 247 out of the total 435 and then what about the probability of both A and B? Well, how many are both women and Republicans? Well, if we look up here, there are 84 women, 22 of whom are Republican. Okay, so there are 22 people that are both considered a woman and a Republican. All right, so that probability is 22 out of 435. So if we take these three and we plug them into our formula for probability, then the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus, that's minus the 22 over 435, minus the probability of being in both group A and group B. So that's minus the 22 out of 435. Well, that gives us a grand total of 309. And that's divided by 435. And if we wanted to put that into the calculator, here's Desmos 309 divided by 435. If we round it to three places, that's about 0.710. All right. So the fraction or the decimal approximation rounded to three places, 0 0.710. Okay. And so that does it for this problem. Uh, so it's not, you know, I, I added a lot of detail here. If, you know, if you're working this out on a piece of paper, it might not take so long or so much writing, but it, I think it's important to point out, you know, uh, how to choose what rule to use. And that's the keyword or, or was the, you know, sort of the starting point in this problem. The word or told us to use the addition rule. And then once we're using the addition rule, we have to determine whether or not this third term is going to be there. That's whether or not events are mutually exclusive.